As summer winds down, more companies cracking down on remote work and requiring workers to return to the office. So what is the future for New York commercial real estate? Bruce Mosler, chairman of Global Brokerage at Cushman and Wakefield, is here now to discuss that with us this morning. Bruce, good to have you with us. Good to see good you. To be here. So let's talk about the market and where it stands right now. In your estimation, having seen what's gone on the last couple of years, where are we at this point? Well, good news to report. We're yeah. over 50% occupied for the first time. That's a big deal. And remember, the barometer was never 100%. 75% is where we were at the peak, so we're more than halfway there. We are seeing this return to work, particularly by millennials and Gen Zs. They want mentorship. They need mentorship. It is tough to work at home if you're a millennial or Gen Z. You don't have the big home office. Yep. So they're looking forward to coming back. But they're coming back and want to come back to a different environment. They yeah. want green space. They want light and air. They want buildings that have been reinvested, F and B, the one-stop shop, if you will. So where, where you're going um, and what building you are going back to makes a difference. Yeah, just to, to pardon my, my expression here, using a little Seinfeld reference, but the employees have a little hand in, in the game now because they can kind of ask for things like that. Is, it, is yes. incentives, are incentives, is that the way to go? Is that the way, the real pull to get the, those Gen Zs and, and Gen Xs back in? The way I would articulate it is that what we're seeing is a real bifurcation of the market in terms of the flight to quality, and that means buildings that have reinvested in themselves, built amenity centers that have this green space, collaboration space, conference rooms, F and B, those buildings are faring very well. In fact, what we're seeing is now a vacancy around 15.7% for those buildings that have reinvested new development and legacy trophy buildings as against a 22% overall vacancy. So it is working to bring them back when you invest in these assets. After the pandemic, um, or in these pandemic years, I should say, because I never yes. want to say totally after, but how, how slow has that climb been to get back to 50%, like you mentioned? It's been gradual. I yeah. think we've seen a pickup in this past year because, as you articulated at the beginning, we're seeing uh, CEOs want to see their people come back in the office, and the reason is they know that these young folks have missed out not being mentored in person, so it's picking up as we every day. Uh, a recent bank rate study found nine out of ten workers prefer a four-day hybrid or remote work week. Does that suggest that, I mean, how much office space is needed for that? I guess that's what I'm getting at. The hybrid uh, work week is here to stay. Yeah. Um, by most accounts and by our studies at Cushman Wakefield, we're seeing two to three, three to four days a week as the norm. Um, but that's not impacting the footprint as much as people think because as you redesign the office space and yeah. make it the workplace of the future, you have to increase the areas for collaboration, increase conferencing room spaces. So it's having an impact too early to say exactly what, maybe 10 to 20 percent, but not as profound as most people think. It's quite an investment for companies, too, to, to kind of to, to refigure their office places to meet some of the requirements that workers are now looking for. There, there's no question. Um, not every building can do it. Look, um, both for the, if you will, um, employer yeah. and for the building owner, it is a reinvestment. Interest rates are factoring in for ownerships. For employers, they're making the adjustments they can, but in point of fact, we know that it makes a difference, so most people are looking to do it. Yeah, like J.P. Morgan, they're redoing, I mean, they're doing a new building right now. It's going to be something totally different. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to really be iconic, and by the way, it speaks to the fact that Midtown may be the hottest market in the country right now, just in terms of the renovation we're seeing. The pick of Park Avenue, as I said, is 15.7% on the vacancy. That's seeing positive absorption. This, that's a big deal. So when you look at the overall picture and you see, you know, complaints, whether it's from New York City government or whatnot about the world workers need to come back, need to come back, you're seeing that uptick, that trend in the right direction that people are coming back to work. And most importantly, employers want their employees back in the office for the most part. The uptick is real. It's sustained at this point. And it, it's, it's not just employers wanting their people back, it's people wanting to come back. We're social animals at the end of the day, and people want to return. As I mentioned before, can't say it enough, mentorship matters, and young people want to be mentored. You can only learn so much from a Zoom call it's difficult in, to learn by Zoom. in your living room or that, kitchen. That's exactly Bruce, right. great to talk with you. Really, really great information. Bruce Moser, Chairman of Global Brokerage at Cushman Wakefield, thank you so much for being with us once again.